Hello everyone, today I would like to introduce the one troubleshooting case that is uh, troubleshoot the communication between the Allen Branling Compact Logics and uh, Keyin's SR buckle reader. So the key reason that is uh, the trigger signal. So basically the menu for the Ethernet IP communication, there are two menus. So one menu that is a 1D and a 2D barcode reader user menu. The other menu that is a one specific menu named SR Reader Sample Program Guide. To download these two menus, we can go to the Keyin's website, go to the barcode scanner catalog, once we come here, we can go to the Buckle Reader specific website. Press the PLC. From here, we can download the sample program. So, for example, if your controller that is a control logics or compact logics from Allen Brownlee, you can download the specific setup file from here. So, each setup file it has an EDS file and the sample program as well as the menu. It also has a Siemens PLC sample program, i7-1500 and i7-1200, uh, won't be a too many difference. So this menu come from the SR2000 Ethernet IP setup file, including EDS. So if you are using the compact logics, you can come here and use this sample program as a reference. And from this menu, it introduced what the setting for the buckle reader, and especially for here, we select a protocol that is Ethernet IP. We disable the handshake and the timing mode that is a level trigger. So. You can read the detail of this menu. So in this menu, it doesn't explain the over picture of the whole timing chart. Actually, this whole timing chart comes from the user menu. If we go to this page, if we go to the memory maps and go to the one page after, so here it shows if we use the level trigger, hand shaking, disable, what the over picture of the timing chart it will be. From here, actually that is a very key programming way in this troubleshooting case. That problem come from this area. In this timing chart, for the reading successfully case, this reading request will turn on with on until this read complete turned on. And if for the reading fails case, so if your read request very short, if your read request turned off before the read complete turned on, so the system will read error. This is actually happened in my case. So that time when we used the auto ID to read the code, that Buckle reader can read the code in the software. However, when we use the PLC to trigger this uh, buckle reader, every time after we trigger, the program read the arrow. The RC code shows error. After I review the program, eventually I found the read request actually is very short. So if we review this uh, sample program guide, this uh, short menu specifically for the Ethernet IP communication. So in this page, sample program detail, we can see, so this is a reader ready definition, and that is a, the trigger signal read request. And to enable this read request from here, if the read complete is off, and once we turn on this trigger input, uh, plus this reader ready on, so we will turn on, we will latch in this read request. From here, there's no problem. It will turn on. But when this signal will turn off from here, so we can see if this trigger input, once it's go off, this read request will go off. But however, in this menu, the trigger input that come from the outside, that come from 
the one toggle bit just for testing. Programmer in this troubleshooting case just give a short trigger on this uh, trigger input. So once it's go off, this read request will go off. Eventually, we found so when this read request go off before this read complete turned on, so every time the data read from the buckle reader just show error. So eventually we found once we turn off this read request after this read complete, the program can read the buckle reader correctly. So from here, keep in mind because this is a specific uh, Ethernet IP manual doesn't say this uh, detailly. However, in the user manual, if you totally follow this diagram, timing chart, especially from here to read the code successfully, you basically follow this sequence, you can read successfully. So keep in mind, under this case, we are using the lever trigger and handshaking that is uh, disabled. You need to hold this uh, read request until you get this uh, read complete. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.